How did your big Atlantic City party go? That was, it was fun. It was very quick. You know, it was like you're in, you're out. Yeah. Um, gambled a little bit. I won fifty dollars, um, and there was uh, you know quite a bit of boozing and. Just so you know, when you win fifty dollars, it means you broke even. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'm worse than that. First of all, they at the hotel say. Um, Sign this thing, because we're going to hold $150 on your credit card. I go back home to check my statement, and they're holding $350 on my credit card. So I, I can't touch 350 on my card. They, they, Borgata is holding it. Why are it. they holding it? How can you hold something on your credit <laughs> card? Can I sign the paper? Is it a debit card? It's a debit card. Yeah, that's not a credit yeah. card. Yeah. Stop right, calling sorry. it that. Sorry, but the point is that they said it on the paper 150 so now it's 350 So I have like... I have like you know like twenty six, but like they lied, but it was, but it was still a great time. What do you want me? To All say? right, uh, a financial uh, ruins. Well, no, Davey this... Mack can't touch three fifty. <laughs> Just don't don't say in the paper you're holding one fifty when you're holding three fifty. I would have <laughs> fucking not taken three hundred dollars out in cash. You have a gambling problem, and it's the fact that they're holding three fifty on a debit card. Eight six six run zero fez eight six six run zero fez. You had a real good story too. Yes, uh, dealing with that. Yes, you I see the setup that we do here. <laughs> I, I look over at him because you know financial things come up. I actually, I don't understand why they would hold anything. I don't get it. What gives them the right to hold any money? Well, if you, you skip out in the room or do damage to the room, then they fucking credit you. Well, like I don't have, I didn't have a credit, so they, so they say, okay, well, you can hold this three fifty, but the problem is now I can't touch it for like two weeks, and the the room was one eighty, so I should. Be you, just have, you don't have a credit card. No, I don't, I don't. You ought to get one and not use it. I, I have this thing, this one credit card from Orchard Bank, but it doesn't work really. Now I actually had money stolen out of my checking account during the vacation, where someone came up with their own check. To my checking account and took out thousands upon thousands of dollars. Well, four. Four th that's thousands upon thousands. <laughs> they took out over four thousand dollars out of my checking account, writing a check to themselves. Holy shit, that's M making up a check. That's grand larceny. Anything over a thousand is grand larceny. And it was cashed in the Niagara Falls area. So I don't know how this happened, but they made up their own check with Maybe, my information on it. Wasn't it your ex? I <laughs> don't think so. I would hope not. Our own Fez Watley uh, had a terrible weekend. And uh, I talked to you for a second out front, Fezzy, and you're just on the edge. I am beyond on the edge. It is nervous breakdown, straight jacket, back to four, back to four wins time. You feel that bad? Yes, I feel that stressed. I feel that on the last nerve. And you've been this, you've gotten this way before, so you know it's not a game with you. Yeah, so I know exactly. Yeah, I've totally been this way before. Right. All right. So uh, fill us in. What happened over the weekend? Well, once again, for the second time in just over a month, uh, someone writes a fucking counterfeit check and. Steals from my bank account. Wow. Now, I just spent the last month changing up everything. Right. I had to close the account out after it happened the first time. Mm -hmm. uh, open up a new account. Had to wait for new checks. Had to get a new debit card. Had to change all my online banking. Had to change any sort of direct deposit stuff, which still isn't fixed. Which still isn't right. Uh, that's still not done. Mm -hmm. And now I have to stop it all over again. I just got everything fixed, and now I got stolen from again. And, sh uh, you know, shouldn't all that stuff protect you once you change your accounts? I would think so. I don't know what the problem I mean, they're stealing from a certain account of mine. Mm -hmm. They're stealing from a checking account that I have. They're not stealing, like, off of credit cards. Mm -hmm. They're not, like, taking ATM withdrawals right. from me. There's nothing electronic going on. They're counterfeiting checks, counterfeiting my signature, and, and cashing these checks. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, and, and I, I, I can print out from my online banking, I can print out a copy of the checks that they're cashing. They have all my new information. I don't know. I, here's my thing. I don't know what they have 
that lets them get all the new information. Right. The new checking account number. And then, like I said, second time in just over a month that this has happened. And now what's happened again is I have to shut down that account. I have no access to that money. It's the end of the month. There's bills to be paid, and I got no access to that money. And bes- I mean, and on top of everything, someone is fucking stealing from me. Right. On yeah. a regular basis. That's the big thing. Never mind all the pain in the ass stuff, which stresses me out beyond belief. Someone is freaking stealing from me on a monthly basis. It's a violation. It's a violation. It totally is. And I don't know what they have that lets them do this. I mean, I didn't lose any credit cards. I didn't, you know, lose my driver's license. I didn't lose well, any checks. They're, they're signing these things as you? Yeah, they're signing my name to the check. So it was, uh, and it's the same place they did it at? No, two different places. The first place was Niagara Falls. That was a month ago. And the second place? Providence, Rhode Island. And they're typing out these checks, making it, you know, payable to some name, some regular name. And then these people are going in these banks and cashing these checks. The first one was made out to a woman. Second one made out to a guy. All right, so no one is showing up in the bank saying that they're you trying to make a withdrawal. Right. Yeah. They're writing checks <coughs> to whatever these names are. They're, I, I, I would imagine they're obviously not using their real names. So the bank is on this, right? Right, yeah. And the, so have they caught the person in Buffalo or no? Well, I have the claim number and everything, so I kept checking on that. Couldn't get through. Finally, I talked to someone about it, and they said, we can't give you any of that information. Uh, you filed a claim. We filled the claim. And that's the end of the story for you. So we can't tell you any more information about what's going on. Because since I got my money back, uh, I'm out of the picture. Right. And your problem is, um, you know, beyond, it has nothing to do with the money. All your fucking banking is fucked up. Now. Uh, again, yes. Uh, one more time, I and they're like, and so I go, I asked the lady to, this morning, what happened? What do I do now? And she's like, well, do what you did before. Close out the account and open a new one. I go, well, that obviously doesn't protect me. Hmm. Who have you written the new checks to? All right, since I've opened the new account, I've, I've written two checks out of that checkbook. Uh, one was to, uh, for my rent and one was for the psychiatrist. Hmm. It seems like e- everything else I've done with the online banking, right? You know, the, the electronic transactions. Hmm. I don't know how any of that stuff would work. I mean, number one, you're okay. Cause they're not, you know, you're not losing your money. Right. But it's fucking you up because you constantly have to change things. Yeah, every month I'm having to change everything. And you got bills due and everything. And Yeah. I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, people, you know, with the, with the whole Eastside Dave thing and people calling me paranoid, I think I've got reasons to be paranoid in my life right. when things like this happen to me. When someone's actually stealing from money out of my account, I think I have reason to be paranoid about other things in my life when things like this are happening to me. And I'm, I'm, you know, and I'm convinced that this is a listener doing it. That some, maybe some of my information got out on the air or something. Whether it's my name or an address. I mean, because things have happened in the past. I'm not fucking paranoid. People are stealing from me. Months ago, my parents were getting harassing phone calls at their home. I never brought that up on the air. But I'll tell you what, if it is somebody that's listening to this show, you're going to fucking jail because mm-hmm. now I'm not I'm not I'm not letting the, I'm not letting the bank just handle this cuz they're not going to tell me what's going on. We got a we got a security department here at Sirius. You know what? I'll spend the money to find out who's doing this. 
I'll hire whoever I have to, whatever service, if I have to go to a cop, if I have to find a lawyer. I mean, I don't know what you do. I have no idea. It. Just pay me the money. Mr. Bennington's hunt him down. I'll give it to you because this is going to stop. Somebody's going to jail over this. This isn't going to keep Flathead, happening. Guess up. We're back in business. I'll take Flathead's help at this point. Oh, Jesus. You, wanna, you don't want to pull a fucking thorn out of that, Paul. Mm-hmm. But somebody is going to jail over this. Well, someone's going to jail for the bank being involved. Uh-huh, the bank, right. That's a fucking felony offense. Right. Yeah, it is. It's felony time. Um, why don't you get out of that bank that you're in? Till oh, yeah, I got to do that. You know, I got to wait till I get my money back from this one. And then I'm just getting rid. Of, uh, then I'm getting out of that bank. Now, I mean, here's my question: Does that solve my problems, or do they find me in that? Ba- uh, if, if I go to a new bank, do they find me there too and keep stealing from me? I have absolutely no clue what to do. But your your feeling is this: You're targeted. That this isn't just somebody who you know gets money. You're feeling this is personal. I feel it's totally personal. It's absolutely personal. Like I said, harassing phone calls to my parents, harassing phone calls at my home in and the past. Think, you think these are the same people? I, I do. I think it's, I think it's uh, somebody that's just really pissed at me and out to get me. I wouldn't have any doubt about it. Well, I will tell you this. That crosses the line. I think even the... Uh the people that were doing the other harassments would think that that was across the that that crossed the line. Mm-hmm. I would hope so, anyway. I, I would I would think so, but you know I can't uh, keep you from being angry. You have every right to be angry. I'd be fucking, I'd be redlining right now. I mean, this is stuff I don't talk about on the air. Yeah. But I got a nephew I'm putting through college. I know, buddy. But I all got, the, all that all that money's still there, though. Yeah. I just can't touch it now. Right. So that fucks up. And we're the last week of the month when everything's due. The kid's going back to school. I'm trying to help my sister out. I know. Who's had a hell of a time the past two years. I know. And somebody thinks they can fuck with me like this. It's not going to happen. It's not going to keep happening. Someone is going to jail. I know, buddy. And they, and you're 100% right. You violate it right now. It's a violation. And I feel absolutely nuts from this. I paced the floors all night long. You didn't sleep last night? Not much. Because right now I feel absolutely powerless. Mm. I mean, I am getting the money back. Well, you're but, not without power. But it's, You have your power. First of all, you've got uh, the bank has got to do something about this for themselves. Right. So they're going to have people on it. Like you said, uh, we have security here, and then you also have the money to pay for uh, your own people to chase this down, find yeah. out. I just feel so fucked with. You're being fucked with. And I'm just on frickin' edge from it. Because it's like, what? I mean, I go back, at, I went back and forth all night long. You know, they can't help you at all on the weekend. Mm-hmm. You know, all Can you I get, tell you something? Regis you says is, TD Bank. Uh-huh. TD Bank is open seven days a week. I'm taking a good long Regis look at him. So I have to go back and forth in my head, you know, do I go ahead and close out this account? Do I now it's like if there's any bills that I was paying online, 
now that this that haven't cleared yet, those all bounce. Those all bounce back right. to the bank. Yeah. They don't get paid. Anything that's outstanding is screwed. Uh, John in New York. John. Hey, hey, buddies. How you doing? I um, used to work in online banking for about 15 years. Uh, one of the first guys to write it for a major bank. Fez, you got to do two things. One is check your computer for a keyboard tracker. Someone may have put something on your machine, so every time you switch accounts, uh, it's actually tracking all the passwords that you type in. That's one possibility. The other thing is don't worry about your things bouncing. Every time you use online banking, it's got a built-in guarantee that they warrant that all payments are made on time. So you're good for them. There's no such thing as a bounce check with online banking. If you had the okay. funds there at the time, you're, you're covered. The bank covers you. So whether it's Chase or Citibank or Capital One or any of those banks, they all have those guarantees that as long as you had money in your account when you scheduled the payment, you're okay. So you should stop worrying about that. That shouldn't be an issue. But I would recommend very strongly get rid of the computer that you have or Better yet, save it and let a security expert go through it. Get then they'll find the other fucking places this fucker went. Yeah, and then and then just get a new computer yeah, for kitty porn. Yeah. <laughs> if anything, Fez, you ought to take an axe to that before the cops show up. That thing would be fucking spending tonight in the bottom of the East River. So now I'm gonna have to buy a new computer. P P Throw <laughs> that on top of it. Just because this guy said it doesn't mean that you should. Uh, we didn't get a call from God, Fuzzy. We just got a call from a listener. The same, you know. You feel personally targeted, though? Yeah. Yeah, I feel this is aimed directly at me. That someone has gone out of their way to pick me out and steal from me. And why would they do that? Uh, they hate me. Whether they're pissed at me for something I've said on the show... Whether they're pissed at me for uh, any sort of opinion I've taken. Yeah, I don't, I don't see it as the Rush Limbaugh type. They're not exactly out there changing policy. No, but I mean, you know, people... Trust me, I get enough hate email that I wouldn't doubt it's some listener. I see enough hate posts on ronfez.net. Trust me, I think there's plenty of suspects. Just from the listening audience. Make a list for me. Write a list down. This could go on for a while. It's, um... Very fucking strange, though. Uh, here's Phil in New York. Hello? Yeah. This is Phil from Minnesota. Um, I actually went to jail for exactly what's happening to Fez. Um, I was in a group of people, and basically, once we get to your routing number off of the bottom of a check, I can print out numerous checks and have numerous different people with fake IDs cash checks anywhere I want. So it, well, it's people working together. It could very well be. And, and as for being targeted, uh, we used to target people who we knew had money. If, if, and, you know, you're in the radio business, you know, you make a substantial amount. Well, you know, he's partner. got that going against him. And then I was also saying this. Once you get into paying medical bills and shit like that, mm -hmm. um, and you have a bunch of different type of things in that uh, direction. Right. They might target, you know, invalids, older people, you know what I mean, that, that they just see these, you know, medical bills. And they might be thinking these are the kind of people who won't keep up with stuff or will be too far fucking gone. Let me see your list. Uh, that's all I got so far. I was listening to that caller. I quit writing. But I think that's enough. Yeah, I guess maybe that's what it is. I mean, this is for thousands of dollars they're doing this for. And, you know, maybe they think that I won't notice it coming out. 
Uh, John, you're on running, Fez. Yeah, Fez, I had a similar thing happen to me, and um, what it was was uh, the guy forged my name on the checks, and he had someone else, another guy, go to cash it. So you had to go. I had to go put file a police report in the city where the where the guy cashed the checks. They went. They put a warrant out for that guy because he had to show ID. They busted him. Then he ratted out the guy who stole the checks. They both wound up going to jail, not for very long because they didn't do it in a bank. They did it at like a. Um, I don't right, know. Well, I, this is your life. Fez is working on his life right now. I, I got to figure that the bank are going to run these people down, Fez. I would hope so, but they refuse to tell me if they are or not. Uh, Sean in Georgia. Sean. Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Fez, one, you've done, you've done live reads and stuff for stuff like LifeLock where they take care of it for you if it happens. And also, do you have a cleaning lady or anything or anybody that goes in your apartment and would be able to see your new checks and... Nobody goes in Watley's apartment. No, no, no one's been in there. That fucking apartment right now is like a tomb. Yeah. Even the, you couldn't even look through a window. Me and the cat are the only ones in there. He's got the uh, world's best view, and then he has aluminum foil up like Elvis used to. And I don't want to spend the vacation going to Providence and Niagara Falls to uh, file police reports. Sounds like a nice time, though. <laughs> Providence is kicking this time of year, and Niagara Falls, let's face it, that's a 365 destination. By the way, if you do go up there, mm -hmm. stop by the Susquehanna Hat uh, Factory. It's fantastic. <laughs> There's a tour. You can leave there with a nice straw hat. Some being, somebody's being uh, noticeably quiet today. Who, me? 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. There ain't nobody else. Just letting Fez talk. Oh, that's a new one. Um, here is uh, here's Richard in Florida. Hey, uh, just a quick question. Hey, are these checks getting cashed at the bank? Yeah, yep. All right, so what should happen is the bank has a video uh, system. That's true. The bank has a video system. We can just go back and look at it. So what are you going to do, Fez? Just drop this whole thing and forget about it? No, nope. I mean, I'm turning it over to the security office here. At Sirius? At Sirius XM. <laughs> And then I'm going to figure out how I have to pursue this on my own as well. What are you going to do, dog? Bounty hunt this fucker? If I have to, I will. You, uh, whoever you are, you're not stealing from me anymore. It's done. It's over. I'm not putting up with it. And I, I don't care if I have to, you know, go to Providence or Niagara. I don't care. I'm going to do what it takes to get this done and get this person locked up. So they quit stealing from me. Or people. Because yeah. Because it sounds like... You know, for the amount of checks that you were talking about, uh, that's a long haul from Buffalo back to Providence. It sounds like right. some team of fucking weirdos. Might not be personal at all, Fez. Might be just, you know, the cost of fucking being in America in 2009. The cost of being online or whatever. It just feels like it. Feels like personal? It feels so damn personal. And you're really tying it in with harassing phone calls and bad posts. and Uh-huh, yeah. I think it all goes together. I'm not being paranoid. All those things exist, people, including me getting robbed. There wasn't there 130 million people who got stolen from? Maybe it's something like that. Could be that uh, thing. I didn't write a check at the 7-Eleven. I know that. Eight six six Ron zero Fez eight six six Ron zero Fez. Uh, Bob Bob Yarman Fez. 
Hey, uh, Ron, it's uh, Bob. And uh, I was just going to tell Fez that um, we, uh, the fraud department, I work in a bank, and I work in a private bank, and there's a fraud department that he'll call after work. They'll spend all the time they want with him on the phone, and as long as he's willing to press charges against these people, he's not going to have to go up. You've talked to your bank, right? Yes, I have spent hours on the phone with the bank, and they t they basically told me that if once they pay a claim, it's none of my business, and that and they actually told me I can never ever find out if they caught the person, if they prosecuted the person. They said it's the bank's business then, not mine. Well, that is the point. I mean, they're not really as hard for you as it is for you to understand. They're not stealing your money. You're covered. They're stealing the bank's money. Mm hmm Right. But, I mean, the bank has to know that, I mean, I'm closing accounts, I'm opening accounts every single damn month. They're going to get stolen from again. Yeah, well, that's their business, though, to deal with. Yeah, and another reason why I think it's personal is I got stolen from the first checking account, and they the, the people are so fucking brazen, they're doing it again. They could care less. They know, they know the first one had to have been found out, and they're just doing it again. Right. They just don't care. Uh, Shelly in Arizona. Hello. Yeah. Hey, guys. Um, Fez, I bet you anything, it's either your wireless connection or somebody is tapped into your computer, like that other caller said. Mm hmm But I would switch to a credit union, one that fingerprints non-members, because uh, I used to work at credit unions, and that's how we would bust a lot of people that were doing check frauds. You know, uh... Actually, I, I don't know how much information I should give out. The first check from back in July was uh, cashed at a credit union. So I don't know how safe that is either. Maybe we're just better off trying to figure out who this isn't. I'm willing to say... It's not Dan LaRoe. I don't think it's Dan LaRoe. It's not Shower Bench. No, it's not, definitely not Shower Bench. Who rocks? Uh, GVAC. No. Nope. Is 100% clean here. Other than that, we're suspecting people. Yeah. Mo Death Melmo. So you're going to help out now, huh? Um, yeah, if someone's stealing from you, that's not right. I have nothing to do with this in case you're thinking about that. Otherwise, you'd see much more money in my bank account. I'm willing to help. I don't see your bank account. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Um... All right, a lot of people uh, want to help you out here, Fezzy. We'll try some of them. Uh, here is uh, Christina. Christina, you're on Fez. Hey, guys. Fez, I just wanted to say, you know, one of the first things to do if you feel like you've been violated, which you clearly have, is really to do something where you have the ability not to be a victim and to, and to retake control. So if the bank's not willing to give you information, I would be checking where the checks were cashed and finding out if they have filed reports or not. Because once it's in the hands of the police, it's public information, and you have a right to know what's going on and, and to take steps to protect yourself and your assets. Yeah, that's the interesting thing. If you file a, a, a thing with the police, uh, you can always get a detective on the phone, you know, and uh, that will still be, you know, somewhat frustrating because what right. you really want is the person caught. You really don't want information. You just want this to stop. Yeah, exactly. And then know that the person's caught. So, but the point here is this, and I, I, I'm going to say I know that you're on the edge here. Um, and your edge comes a little quicker than most people's. Right. I don't handle stuff like this as well as some people do. Yeah. This is probably going to take some time to, you know, figure out. 
I hate to tell you that, but right. the chances of it happening right away are probably, you know, it's probably not going to happen. Yeah. Well, I mean, I just from the uh, fixing everything, I know how long it takes without even, you know, knowing if the person got caught or not. Your dad's a banker. Yes. What did he say? Um, basically, you have to change the account again. So no, no more information than my bank gave me. But I'm gonna make sure. I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure whoever did this is caught. And uh, if they're caught, you're just going to let them go, Fez? Or? No, they're going to jail. Wow. Uh, Rich in Maryland. Rich, you're on the Run Fez show. Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah. Hey, uh, Fez, um, are, you writing, are you writing personal checks to your, for your rent? Yeah, the rent I, rent a, I write a check for. Okay. What you want to do is you don't want anybody having any of your information. It doesn't matter if you trust that guy or not. What you need to do is um, okay. Thanks. Which what you need to do is is go to your bank and for your rent and get certified but bank check. Here's the thing: Why should he live his life like a drug well, dealer? Exactly. Why can't he fucking live his life like anybody else? It's ridiculous. I gotta go wait in a bank line like an animal to get a check when I have a thing of checks that's sitting there. I have a checking account and can't write checks because someone's going to steal from me? It's ridiculous. It's absolutely insane, and it's driving me nuts, trust me. And I know what nuts feels like. You're back there. I am right there. Is your mouth writing checks that your ass can't cash i don't think that has anything to do with it ron i've heard that come up before though yeah no you, someone else is writing checks that everyone's cashing uh a lot of people with advice P- please just send it to ron and fez at aol dot com we'll make sure fezzy gets this on his I guess, often viewed computer. Yeah, the uh, infected computer. Who could have put something on your computer? The only one that could have put something on my computer was Flipper. No, but do you go to any crazy websites? Oh, no, I don't go to any website. No, uh uh-uh. What are the websites you go to? I go to Drudge Report. Mm -hmm. I go to nypost.com. I go to superherohype.com. I go to, uh, um, I mean, the only financial one I would go to is Amazon.com. Well, that's not going to always be financial stuff. Because they could just, you know, put one of those fucking bugs on your computer and follow you around. Right. Let's see, I go to HollywoodWiretap.com. That sounds like it could be it. CNN.com. MSNBC.com. You don't go to any porn sites? No. Hmm. And if I did, I wouldn't pay for it with a check. Well, I don't even... You're not paying for it with a check. They're saying that these people can find out what you're doing and then break into your accounts and then be able to find yourself from there. Oh, I see what you're saying. You don't need to download anything from a porn site to get fucked over. I, 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 there was one porn site I was going to that was fine the first few months I went to it. Then all of a sudden, it totally fucked my computer over and full of shitload of Trojan. It's nose. happened to a million fucking people. Right. Where all of a sudden, you just fucking, those pop ups would fucking hit constantly. Um, here's uh, Tom. Tom, you're on my uh, Good morning, guys. Um, Fez, when you changed around your accounts, by chance did you remember to change the password for your online account? Because if somebody has compromised your password, then you change accounts, they log in, and they get your new account. Yeah, I changed that. Okay. That's yeah. Good. Just checking. I, I changed the PIN. I mean, I don't know what the password. I mean... Tim in Wisconsin. Hey, Fez. Yes. Do you, do you think this could be a hate crime? Yeah, I think so.
so to you, this is a personal uh, hate crime thing. It's an absolutely personal thing. I've had, I've just had enough of. Uh, I, I've seen enough. Uh, you know, personal things happen to me outside of the show. To not think that this isn't personal, that this isn't tied into someone who's pissed at me. Why would anybody piss that? You fezzy. I don't like know. Fez. Well, there's plenty of negative posts on ronfez.net. It's a shame. Yeah, you sound really broken up about it. I don't want anyone to get this kind of treatment. I've gotten death threats for two years. Yeah, you understand harassment. I, that I, do. I know. I do. You so understand that's the kind why of I'm harassment. not making any jokes or doing anything. I've gotten them in Brooklyn. I've gotten them in New Jersey. I've gotten them very recently. So I don't like to hear about this. And theft is, is just, you know, that's very low. It's a very low thing. Something I would never do, by the way. Who's making threats against you? Um, some people... Uh, what did you find out? Somebody took 24 cents out of your fucking checking account? <laughs> no, like letters and, and whatnot. They're all from Pennsylvania. They're scattered throughout America. And they, I've asked the detectives and there's no real, real people. There's no real people. There's no people who correspond with the name that's being put on the letter. So I don't know who it is. It was written by your, on your own stationery, <laughs> signed by you. No. I'm going to get you, me. It's from Lehigh, Pennsylvania. I'm going to get me. <laughs> yeah, it feels like someone is trying to be very vindictive against me. I'm not sure that they're, they're totally connected because it would be stupid, I think. I mean, it's stupid to do it in the first place. The bank isn't going to keep paying this this money back to me. Uh, Greg, you're on run, Fez. Yeah, I was just wondering if Fezzy was coming out today. He said he knows what nuts feels like. Come on. Come on. Uh, Bob in Minnesota. Yeah, I was wondering, Fez, do you got your keys? Maybe that's what's going on. I have my keys. You, you're not trying to help somebody uh, get a bunch of money out of Ethiopia, are you? No. You're not falling for that fucking gimmick. Did not fall for those emails, no. One time my dad called me on the phone and started fucking reading. He goes, I got an interesting proposal. <laughs> I go, Pop, I will fucking take that computer of yours and throw it in the goddamn Chesapeake Bay. I don't want you reading anything on the internet, ever. I gave him a link to Ron Bennington's line of the day. That's all. I go, this is what all you're reading you need to do. Well, this is how you're going to be spending your vacation next week, huh? Oh, yeah. Yep, standing in lines at bank. Closing accounts, opening accounts, trying to find out exactly what happened. Okay. All right. But I will find out what happened, and I'll find out who's doing it. All right, if anybody has, uh, we're going to move on now, but if anybody has any help from Fez, Ron and Fez at AOL.com, uh, Ron and Fez at AOL.com. We'll look into it. We'll see what we can do. We'll get to the bottom of it. May not be personal at all. You may not ever get to the bottom of it either, not to throw cold water on it, but... Uh, the people who have sent me things, I you haven't. You would love gotten. that, wouldn't you? I wouldn't love it at all. That's encouraging. I'm just saying, I haven't gotten to the bottom of anything. Detective Hutter hasn't either. He's my personal DET. How long ago did you talk to Detective Hutter? I've, I stayed in communication with Detective. How long has this been going on? For me, since I moved into Brooklyn, and, it's, and somehow my New Jersey address is known as well. Guess what? The case is closed. Someone had a letter sent. No, there's multiple letters. It happens every uh, two, three months. What's his name? 
I don't know who it is. Detective Hutter? Oh, Detective Hutter? Yeah, that's my guy. Have him in my phone. You want, Fez, if you want me to give him your... Hello, Hutter. <laughs> Hello, Fada. That's not his song. Here I am in Camp Granada. <laughs> Here he is. If you want, Fez. He sounds real effective. I'm going to pass. Mr. B, you want him? No. It's a victimless crime. And he's never going to catch my brother. I don't care how hard he <laughs> Your brother is sending me this stuff? Does he live in Lehigh, Pennsylvania? Yes. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> what? Every time we send out a fucking letter, it's like that. It comes from that... <laughs> that... I want to dance. Uh, Fez, we got somebody who's also offered to help you. Jill from Identity Guard okay. said that she can help you uh, set up a whole new system so you can start and live like a regular human being. Fez has somebody who keeps getting into his uh, checking account. Yeah. Uh, again, this weekend, another fraudulent check, counterfeit check, I guess is the word, written in Rhode Island, taking money out of my account. Well, you got nothing to worry about because... The bank will cover for you. The bank's going to cover it. I mean, I put in the, the fraud claim today because I discovered it over the weekend. But it's just the pain in the ass of going through, having to change everything, and more importantly, being targeted by somebody. And I'm convinced that it's somebody that's listening to this show that has somehow gotten some information about me and is now, you know, using it against me to steal from me. Well, however it's happened, I hope we get it all uh, cleared up. But you were you were next to yourself crazy today. I let you run off for a while, and you seem to be okay now. I'm. I mean, I'm still feeling it. That's for sure. I just. I just want it to stop. Is what I wanted to happen. Hopefully, Jill can help me. Well, I hope it happens for you too. Uh, but you're you're not out any money, and all your bills are going to be taken care of. So. It's one thing, yeah, it's a pain in the ass. I just wish you wouldn't take it to, you know, I worry about your health sometimes. Right, I mean, I do take it personally. I think it's a personal thing to invade my privacy and do this. I'll agree with you there. But you can't get so stressed out that you're not sleeping at night and you're making yourself sick. Right, I mean... You came in here sick today. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally don't feel good over this. And it's driving me nuts, the fact that it's happened again, second time in a month when I thought I had it all taken care of. The thing is, this does happen anonymously. Why are you convinced that it's a listener? Well, I'm just, you know, there's things that have gone on in the past that I know are listeners. Where, you know, any harassing phone call to my home or, or my relatives, I know, that's a, I know that's a listener. I absolutely know it is. I see but, the things on ronfez.net posted about me, horrible things. Right. Th th those are listeners. Right, but then you could be walking out of here, a bus could go by, you get hit by water, doesn't necessarily make it a listener. Right. Well, I mean, there's just, I mean... I don't know whether, it can, do you really feel like you can tie this all together? I mean, it feels like it. I mean, there's people, I've gotten nasty emails. Yeah. I know, I mean... I, uh, I'm just saying this now, that if it's someone that's in cahoots with Dave, that, you know, that is you know, someone, one of Dave's friends that's doing this to get back at me, they're going to jail. Well, whoever it is has committed a felony. Right. Whoever has done this has committed a felony. And that goes for anyone who might happen to know about it either, Dave. Just so you know. Are you, if you're implying me, then that's crazy, because this is serious fucking business. I have nothing to do with serious it. Serious, S-I-R-I-U-S. And the other one. But I would hope that you're just jo joking now. I certainly ha am not stealing from you. No, anyone who's stealing from you. No one probably is. Your right, well, 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 no one's stealing from me? Your credit has... Uh, no, I'm saying no one that you know. L let me talk to Fess for a second. What? Obviously, Dave is too stupid to do anything along these lines. Sure. But why would you think that he even knows about it? Um, I don't know. I, I'm just wondering if it's somebody that wants to get back at me for any sort of fight that I've had with Dave. Okay, well, I get the death threats to my house, so now I'm going to blame them on you. So now we're going to just do that then. Because I'm not going to let you slander my name. Is this the way you're trying to make him feel better? And this is your fucking way of calming him down? Could uh... I fucking get a little bit of help? 
Sorry. What are you going to do? And that you're sorry. And that you're going to add that to him. That you're going to fucking go after him and wait for him to what? Spin off the fucking end here? No. Are you on the edge today? Yeah, I've been on the edge for quite a while. Why are you on the edge? Why am I on the edge? I got, I got, I have just as much, if not more, financial problems than Fez does. Well, it's not fucking based on that. He's not saying it about financial stuff. Someone's stealing from him. You can't see beyond that? I can. I was ready to help him. Just five seconds ago, he well, implied that I was... What are you screaming was, at him? He implied that I, I'm, I, I'm a part of this. He just implied that. That's why I'm on the edge. Don't I don't f- think that he fucking implied that. He's saying if you know who's behind it. If, you know, if, it, if I think it's a listener... I'm I'm thoroughly convinced it's someone that listens to this show that's got a beef against me. Who would have a beef against me? Somebody who's picking up for you. Okay, I'm, what I was so simply I'm, saying is that if I've gotten some threats in my life, I've never associated them with no friends. No one has ever, and even the security here, has ever believed that your threats were real. Well, that's not true, because I've reported them to NYPD. and They they've were come in your in. handwriting, Dave. No, they weren't. They were typed. And if we're going to, you know, they, they were typed. Could this be Fez's moment, not be about you? I was, you had your opportunity. I was not talking when he brought this stuff up at all until he blamed fact, me. Remember? Did I blame you or did I say, here's where my path of thinking is going. Do you know anything? Can I just say something? We know Dave doesn't know. We know this. Look at him. He wouldn't be able, during that moment of quiet, he would yell it out. He can't fucking not. See, no, he's joking, but he wouldn't be able to fucking hold it up. I don't know what happens on this fucking show. If someone comes in and goes, oh, I stepped on a nail, that person will go, oh, two weeks ago I had a piece of glass in my. Well, what always makes everyone take it back to themselves? As a matter of fact, remember the first time. You brought this up when we came back from the last vacation? Right, yeah, the first t- check, yeah. Yeah, Dave stepped on you and told some other story about you losing $20 or something. Do you remember that? Yeah, what happened was that was after the last vacation, and he had had the birthday party for his wife yeah. in Atlantic City. So we heard about him trying to get his deposit back from the hotel. Like he had to put so much money up to use a card there. Maybe if we would have worked on it last time, we would have got to the bottom of this. We would have got the help. Fezzi came in looking for help last time. You immediately jumped on it, started talking about you didn't get your fucking deposit back for your hotel. I don't recall it going down like that. I remember we were talking about it, but I don't remember, like, stepping on him. I remember I... Fez said fucking one line. I'm looking. I'm like, what? And the next thing I know, we're talking about your fucking deposit, and all of a sudden we're taking calls. And your debit card. Yeah, I don't know. I th- I was just, you know, we now I'm friends, it. friends share. Did you purposely try to keep Fez's story off the air? Maybe. You can't yell at him and then a second later go, maybe. You got to go one way or the other. And Fez, I think you're way too early in this to know who's doing this. Mm-hmm. For you to be thoroughly convinced of something, you're not at the point yet that that makes sense. Well, I mean, I'm just, I'm going, I'm, trust me, I'm emotional about this. Mm -hmm. So I'm going, I mean, I can't help going where my emotions are taking me. And now you're satisfied, Dave? No, because I'm not making him cry. No, but him thinking about it is making him fucking cry. So look, I didn't make him cry, but I'm fucking sensitive to it. Right. I don't act like it's nothing. I never said you made me cry. I just was. The I'm the only... one getting ripped off, and I'm always the one that's paranoid. That's true. Then I, you know, the only reason why I talked during this whole thing is because you were looking at me saying, and it's one of Dave's friends, and and uh, if Dave knows anything about it and stuff like that, which no I one don't. It's Dave. He was looking at just me. Just relax. And you still have money. I mean, that, that's a comforting thought. It's n- Trust me, it's not about the money. I know I'm getting the money back. I got the money back on the first check. I'll get the money back on the second. I'm getting stolen from on a monthly basis. My fucking financial life gets turned upside down every 30 days. 
I've got people dependent on me with that money. That now I cannot touch. For probably another seven to ten days. And you're saying it's no big deal, you got more money? Is that your point, Dave? I'm saying you could take comfort in the fact that your money's going nowhere. At least you have some money in the bank. So it's okay for me to be stolen from? No, it's not. You're saying he's blowing this out of proportion by no. crying? Well, I mean... What are you uh, saying? I'm not saying he's blowing out of proportion uh, that you're st- pissed off that you're being stolen from, but you will be covered. I mean, if you look at things, you know, glass half full, you're going to be covered. So you're saying this more as a... It's an irritating rob thing. Rob from the rich, give to the poor. No, because he'll be covered. I'm saying it's, to me it's, it's no di- To me, it's no different than if they came in my house and took the money... And walked out, and I still got the money back? Yeah, I still have someone walking around my house. To me, it's no different. And I'm going to find out what I can. I hope you do. I'm not uh, I'm, I'm, hoping you don't find these thieves. I'm going to use this. I, I'm gonna... Wait a minute. Hold on. You just said plural. Thieves. That's right. Why would you know there was more than one? Because Why I would it just be one. Because we said that earlier in the show that there are, that someone, seemed up, that seemed odd to me. Someone had to send the check up to Rhode Island and then another one to um, Canada, Canada, or wherever the other one went. <laughs> that was Canada, right? Cal- uh, Can- Niagara Falls, Canada. For, uh, Niagara Falls is in the United States, oh. as you know. Uh, but the interesting thing here is. You seem to know some facts that aren't even out on the fucking air yet. You seem to know uh, the Canadian thing we never said on the air. Well, yeah. He told us that. No, he didn't. I he said s- Buffalo, Niagara Falls yep. was the first one. Second one, Rhode Island. I never, there is a Canadian connection. I never mentioned the thing about Canada. Wow. Never. Well, then put me, then hire me. Put me on your detective list and I'll get to work. And say what? Catch yourself? Takes the thief to catch a thief? Is that it? I will give. I will. I will give up the right hand of both of my children if I'm stealing money from Fez. I will do that on the air, live for everyone to see. I will take a knife and saw off the hand of no my one children. No believes it's you. If you would just calm down, no one ever even fucking accused you. I never accused you. Ron asked me why I would think it would be a listener. What reason would there be? I gave a reason. That they were friends with me, and then you said, and Dave might Doesn't know something. Doesn't necessarily make them friends with you. Well, he used those words. He said they're friends with, they might be friends with Dave, and Dave, if he, if he knows something. You're being very fucking defensive right now, That's Dave. for sure. I'm being defensive because I was attacked. If I don't attack, then it's Dave's being guilty by not speaking up. This is about Fez right now for five minutes. Okay, I'll stop talking. What are you fucking, cl- what are you looking up over here? I want to see if I'm getting fucked with. You're going into your bank account. Yeah, I want to make sure. I, I want to make sure that looks like we're all good. Yeah, it's still at a zero balance. Looks like I got my 98 still in there. <laughs> that looked like my bank account in third grade. Yeah, I know. Were well, you trying to put that out to show that there's not an extra couple G's? <laughs> I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm trying to show. Do you see any deposits in here? Uh, TC, you're on my Fez. Hey, buddies. Hey, it looks like uh, Daily Leader's already put up a, a poll on RonFez.net trying to guess Fez's, uh, Fez's passcode. See? I got, uh, yeah. And I'm just crazy. I'm just paranoid. People don't come after me on things. You think it's tied in with the plan? I don't know. I mean, maybe it's someone who... You know, wants to be part of the plan with Eastside Dave. Maybe, maybe that's it's somebody that thinks they're helping Dave by doing this. Because trust me, I know I can feel it. I am so on the edge from this thing. What can you feel? I just it. My chest is killing me. 
I feel like I'm going out of my mind. I feel like I can't hear one more bit of bad news. Uh, Mike. Mike, you're on the Ronnie Fez show. Hey, Ronnie, I can understand, Fez. I understand you're upset about the whole deal, and I hope you, you can find who's at fault for this whole deal. But Dave's trying to show some genuine concern, and you can hear the compassion in his voice, and you're just being a dick about it. I'm not being a dick. I'm trying to figure out who's stealing from me. And if it's somebody that knows me through this show, that's the path I'm, I'm focusing on. Yeah, I'm being a dick when thousands of dollars and fake checks are being written out of my account. I'm being a dick when people call my house harassing me. I'm being a dick with every negative post on ronfez.net. And all this started after the lettuce wraps thing? When they made fun of you for eating lettuce wraps? Oh, yeah, pro yeah, I guess. When did it start? When did you feel like the harassment started? Um, oh, probably around the first time, uh, probably a little bit before the, uh, the first check got stolen. Maybe a few weeks before that. Hmm. Here's our good friend, um, Paul, uh, well, let's go to Tom from Madison. Tom from Madison first, our buddy. How are you? Hey, buddy. Fezzy, I'm, I'm feeling for you out here. I, I get what angle you were saying as far as, as the potential for somebody involved in this little interpersonal radio war thing that's going on with, with the crew there. But, you know, I think you're on the right track with, with getting Jill. I think a good PI could start to correlate whether there's any relation between the amount, where they were done, et cetera. But to me, as a truck driver from Madison, Wisconsin, it really smells of a family member or someone at the fucking bank. Who else would get be able to get that information? And are they actually checks of yours, or are they fraudulently manufacturing their own? They're counterfeit checks. These They're are, not my checks. These are counterfeit checks, but the interesting thing is Fez has it with him right now, and he showed it to me. Somebody is also copying his... Uh, your signature down to fairly close. I mean, if yeah. I didn't know that, if I was just glancing at it, I'm sure if I sat there and went over it, I could wait. There's a loop here, but it looks like your signature. Yeah, they're forging my signature on these fake checks. And you feel like uh, a lot of this all just got started with the back and forth stuff when shit blew up on the air. Yeah, I mean, that's when this started, you know, well into it. Probably about, I'll, I'll say, as, as I think about it, probably about a month and a half afterwards, after and, it started. And Dave, you're guaranteeing no listener involvement. I'm saying I have nothing to do with this. I'm not guaranteeing no listener involvement. I find it probably coincidental. But who the fuck knows? Maybe someone is an asshole. But they certainly aren't uh, connected to me in any way. Nor are they connected to anyone who really cares about the Ron Fez show. Because anyone who would would not fucking go to this lunacy. Here's uh, Fred from Brooklyn. Hey, Fred. Man, um, I feel for you, Fezzy. Um, this has been done to me in my life. I understand. But, boy, I got to tell you, I, I, people accuse me of telling Ron what's happening to me in my life. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have kept so much from you, Ron. I, 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 don't, even, I don't even tell you half the things because it's not your problem. But my speaking up... I know has has fucking hit me hard, man. I know it. And, and if I told you for real what's happened to me, I think you'd be shocked. I, I, it's not my place. When it when it got personal into my family, I try to stop that. But um, I've never told you about the Dun and Bradstreet reports, the uh, financial investigations on my part, the, uh, uh, the 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 using of my name on the internet improperly. I, it's endless what has happened to me, and I've kept it to myself. Do you feel like these are the same people that are harassing Fezzi? There's a ruthless bunch of IP fucking assholes in this community 
who know how to touch every button inside the corporate world, and they do it for a certain crowd. I've seen it done in instances. I, I, I can't be specific as to who, but there is definitely a group. Definitely a group. No doubt about it. So you think this is what Fez has gone through, and you you feel the same way as, as Fred? This, I mean, I haven't talked to Fred about this. This is exactly how I feel about it. This is, a, this is the first thing I thought of. When it happened again, why would somebody who... Why would someone risk trying to do it again yeah. unless it's, you know, one of the other motives besides theft is to harass? Do you know that there are some people's sole intentions on the Internet to be as mean as they possibly can and they, and they get and they get re rewarded by their peers? Dave, are you uh, denying this stuff happened to Fred? I, I've never heard of this shit. I've never heard of this, what he's talking about. I've had to change several things on the internet. There was one, com I, there was one company I was advertising with in the Yellow Pages at one time, Ron. Mm -hmm. I was spending seventeen thousand dollars a month advertising with this company. My entire online profile was destroyed to the point where business stopped coming. That company is now suing me for not paying them. It's dragged into thousands and thousands of dollars of problems. Affecting my business in all ways, and, and listen, I, 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 I can't pinpoint it, but I know. I just I know for a fact. I know for the endless crank phone calls to my business during a period of time. It's but amazing just, how much this sounds like Fez's story. It's the exact same thing. I mean, right. I, I understand information is out there. No, there's an intentional search for it, and when it's found. It's done underground once again by anonymous people hiding behind anonymous names on anonymous boards that think it's fucking endless that they can just do this. And, man, if there's any way I can help you, Fezzi, maybe we'll tap into a little what happened to me. But this, an an this anonymity on the Internet um, really brings the worst out in people when they can act on their devilish side and nobody knows it's them. And it's happening. Do not doubt it for a fucking second. I've had to shut down parts of my business that have been running for 20 years successfully because I got into arguments with people. My kid had to drop out of his college fucking radio class because his podcast that he was doing for a college radio station, the, the, the website was bombarded, which he's a faggot. His father should die. I've seen it on all fucking ends, and I just stay silent. You, I promised you in a meeting that we had that I'd never fucking fire back, man. Mm. And I tell you, I, 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 the pain I've gone through, I haven't even brought up to your attention. I'm too much of a guy to, to just to, to tell you that. But, bro, I, I speaking up for what I believe in in this community has, has done more to my bad health than... Um, so, for my family. you've never done things under anonymity? All under anonymity, but there's a specific... No, 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 you. You've never done things under anonymity? Under anonymity? Never. You've never no, posted thanks. things? Never. So you've never posted... Rude, you, you've never had podcasts of your own running down people's wives? Not under anonymity. So, He's always been up front. Right, uh, but... but so, um, like fake, you know, uh, Twitter names and shit that match to your speaking and match to the way you type and everything. That's like a coincidence. Never. Have never. you ever uh, done? Uh, have you ever um, flattened anyone's tires when living in Brooklyn? No. Oh, have never. you ever sent uh, letters? What, what, what is your point? Are you accusing? Or are you asking questions? Well, I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering because are you saying he did this to you. I'm just wondering. You know, he 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 talks a, a big, uh, uh, huge game of you know people attack and anonymously. But I feel like, you know, Fred has... Mm. Are you saying that I slashed tires? I'm not saying anything, Fred. I didn't say that. I'm, I'm going to do my detective work now. Everyone's playing a little fucking Magnum P.I. What do you see, a plan, Dave? There's a plan I see against a plan. you? I see a plan. I think I, I see a plan against me forming. Um, I think it's probably Fred. Possibly a Fez is in it. And I think I Somebody in your camp making everybody else look like shit to prevent themselves. You're from obsessed work. with someone who's been off the internet for a month. That, that, yeah, but the damage was done. The and you're still going on about it, Fred. No, it, that, that, the, the, the person hadn't posted or done anything about you in a year, two Who years. Who are we talking about? My wife. Okay. She hadn't done shit to Fred in two years. You're oh. fucking uh, delusional and, ups and obsessed. You are so fucking wrong and you are so 
stupid. No, you're but, stupid, Fred. You're stupid for thinking that you know everything that goes on, on the internet, and you oh. fucking jump to conclusions faster than the shittiest Murder, She Wrote episode. I am more observant than you will ever become, Dave. But, no, you're, 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 you're psychotically observant. You're not. So, hold on. Let, let me try to... You're saying he's obsessed with your wife, and Fred, you're saying this with you. I am saying that once I was tarnished, it still goes to this day. Your business is fine. And no one ever how tarnished. Do you know? No one tarnishes you his know business. How would you know what, how his business is going? He's brought this up before. We saw the the post or the thread of something where someone was, was said that he's like a he fixes uh, he does something he does some sort of construction. That was what people said. It had no attack on his business. It, your wife posted my company name. I don't. I know. I don't know about that, Fred. I you know I can't keep surveillance on people, even my wife, twenty four seven. She was on Pal Talk today. She's allowed to go on Pal Talk and talk to a friend of hers. She's not going on uh, message boards talking about the show. She's not talking about the show. She's an American who pays for Pal Talk. She's allowed. Oh, to, first of all, she's allowed to go, go anywhere she wants. No yes. one ever said that. So, well, then Fez, then why is Fez saying that? Well, Fez and her had problems. That has nothing to do with anything. He just fucking said something, too. Again, Dave, this was Fez's fucking thing, right? Uh, then Fred calls to agree. Why do you go bringing yourself and, you know, your people in? Because I'm not going to let Fred pretend that he's Mr. Johnny Innocence and he's he all the things that he said about himself he's done to everyone else in the uh -huh. internet community. Every you were like a, a hysterical, you know, put the mirror up to your fucking image, Fred. Everything you just said, you've been guilty of. So if people have fucked with you, that's unfortunate. But it's it's stopped. We had a sit down a year and a half ago on the Ryan Fez show. Everyone was cool. Then you you realize, you know what? I'm Fred. I like conflict i'm gonna start fucking shitting on people on my podcast and and pretending possibly pretending that i'm uh f fake people's names and going after them that way what i'm doing dave dave you know what i have never been anything but myself i'm fred from brooklyn no matter where i go i have never been anything fake and nor can i falsely represent myself you've never done create a fake message board name ever in your life never in your life you just said never how many times are you gonna say it the only name that is not me is the original one I signed on to Whack Bag. Oh, uh, there, there, there's one then. There's yeah. one. Oh my God. Well, that's not the same. Thing. Oh well, it is. It is. I never created a different uh, fake name, but there, there, there's one. So, oh, he's, no. so I, uh, you know, if we, I have to keep asking you follow up, are you going to be honest? Dave, you're going all over the place, Dave, to protect something. My name was Entry because I wasn't Fred from Brooklyn. I wasn't known as Fred from Brooklyn yet. I was Whack Bag Entry on. Power. That's not your name, is it? That's not your name. So that so there might so uh, David McDonald. All right, Dave, I just Megan P.I. you. Serious, seriously, Dave. Yes. I don't want a bunch of fucking inside internet talk. Fez's fucking bank account got busted into. That's what we were discussing. It cannot constantly go back to your stuff. It can't. Let him Fez's right. stuff today. He wants to team up with Fred. Ron, the bottom line is I have no vested interest in this show other than you giving out that fucking phone number and me calling when I'm bored driving in my car. That's all I have ever done for this fucking show. If you've called me up to the studio, you asked me other things or whatever, I swear it started with a fucking phone call. That's all I ever wanted to do was call a show. Wherever it went from there was people's own perception, man. I, I, all I ever did for you, Dave, was give you a truck when you needed one, and this, I, and, I, I don't true. know where it turned. I have no fucking idea right. where it turned. It wasn't me. All right, we're I, gonna, Fred, we're going to have you come in one day this week, all right, buddy? All right, man. All right, talk to you later. Right. Thanks, Fred. Nobody knows who stole Fez's money. Nobody knows this. Why is this fucking suddenly turning into a goddamn Mexican standoff? Fucking I don't know. people pointing at Fez, people pointing at Fred, people pointing at Dave. Chris Stanley doesn't seem to be in any of these problems. No. <clears throat> uh, here's uh, Antonio in North Carolina. Hey, uh, 
y'all did say those were fraudulent checks, right, Bill? Right. Yeah, well, I used to be a crack addict. I'm in recovery I now. I you're a bad person. That used, to, that used to be part of my scheme was washing checks, and I'm going to tell you the two ways that I've done it. Okay. I was a, I, all right, I was a mover, and I would be in people's houses, and I was always constantly looking for their checks, and I would get one check out of their checkbook. That's one way of doing it. From in the middle. That, you can use that check over and over. The other way is back when back in the early 90s when people were still paying their bills through paper checks in the mail, we'd go around to the mailboxes and get their checks out and wash the name off of it and put a new name on it. But you have to have somebody that's cashing the check that's in on it also. So have you had any checks stolen from you or paid any bills with a paper check lately? Uh, well, with the, um, I haven't lost any checks. They're all accounted for. And the only two checks that I have written as, uh, with this new checking account that they got a hold of was my rent check and one to my psychiatrist. Those are the two checks that I've written. Hmm. If it's someone in the rent office. Now, it could be the rent office. It could be somebody who, you know... A maintenance guy at your place who's able to go in and, you know, could pull a check. Right. I don't fucking know. We don't know. I mean, the the point before you get accusing, you got a long way to go. And, Davey Mack, apparently you have all these problems with Fred from Brooklyn. That you think that he's the person harassing you all these years? I think he's a main suspect. Well, why would that just come out today? After you said that this has been going on for a year and a half. Because this I is haven't the first been time able... I've ever heard of it. Because it's been ratcheted up recently. It's all this shit's been ratcheted up. Where I've gotten fucking letters and there's been posts and they all match the fucking same handwriting. But th does there seem to be two sides on this? Does it seem like there's bad folks on each side doing stuff? I don't think that. I I think that if. No, I think that Fred. No, I really don't. I think it, any shit that was been done was squashed a year and a half ago at the Ron Fez sit-down, which we had on 57th Street. Since then, there hasn't been any aggressiveness from one side. And for the longest time, from both sides. But then the last few months, um, coincidentally, when there's been flare-ups on the show between me and Fez, Fred or, or some certain people decide, let's ratchet it up. Let's make the fucking death threats on Dave again. So you feel like Dave has hit... I mean, Dave has a team, Dave, that you're not necessarily running, and Fez has a team, Fez, I'll say I, I, that he's not necessarily running. I feel like... I'm running the Wolf Pack right now, right. and I'm trying to fucking get Donnie Dumfrey uh, off and running. Maybe Fez has a plan. Don't be silly. Are you serious, though? I don't know, Ron. My, but my point is this. Let's suppose both you guys have people who like you, right? Mm hmm And when they hear Fez be mean to Dave, they go after Fez. When, Fe when Dave is mean to Fez, they go after Dave. That would make a little fucking sense. Now, there could be some ringleaders in there. It's not necessarily means that you guys are running it, but your actions on the show might help to flame the fucking fires. For you to sit here after a year and a half and me never once hearing that you thought that that person years ago when you lived in Brooklyn was harassing you was Fred, is stunning to me. Well, it's, you know, recent developments. I mean, you don't always put things together. What instantly. are the recent developments? There's been a fucking uh, uh, evil. He's, he's dedicated three hours of his show to my wife on his podcast, calling her a cunt. I mean, people are going to stand by this guy who calls a woman a cunt, who's stayed away from him and his fucking websites for years, and he's calling her a cunt and a bitch and a slut and fat and all this fucking shit. That's what he does with his fucking three hours of a podcast every fucking show. And the fact that it mysteriously matches the fucking posts and the fucking fake tweets account and the fucking death threat letters that I get home. But they all match the same fucking thing. But no, it's not him. Maybe it's not him. Maybe he's got a team. Maybe everyone's got a fucking team. Maybe I'll hit the fucking plan sounder. Maybe everyone's got a fucking plan. Who fucking knows? But the fucking fact of the matter is, it seems fucking weird. Are you stealing fucking Fez's act? Are you fucking Fez now? No, but my point is... I mean, is... do you realize this is 100% of Fez's act? And you're doing it on the day that his money got stolen? I'm not doing his act. You're definitely, you're 
the paranoid crazy person on the day that he's the paranoid not, crazy person. I'm not paranoid. There, there's Chris a difference. Chris Stanley, look at me. I don't I'm think, not paranoid. Do you Who understand the fucking madness that's surrounding me here? Everyone's pretty fucked up right now. Do you? Do, am I crazy, or is he has completely lifted Fez's persona? It's sounding a little paranoid. Well, no, just just with now, this one guy. Are you guy. listening to some podcast for three hours? What? Are you listening to a podcast for three hours? No, people people listen to it and send what us people? fucking audio clips. I don't know strange people who don't always sign See, their there's name. There's your fucking problem. Who are these strange people? Well, it doesn't... It, it, this is the same thing I tried to fucking tell Fez. But it doesn't negate the fact that I get audio of him. I can hear it. And he's saying these things. Well, did you ever once decide to talk to him man to man? Of course, yes. I've texted him. I've, I've said, Fred, leave my wife alone. Fred, stop. He, he texted me one time. Uh, your, your wife is, is just doing weird shit. And I go, huh? I just texted back. Huh? H-U-H uh, question mark. I am not even understanding this. Neither do I. Um, I Matt, think that people can just be cool. Matt, you're on a fez. Hey, what's up, guys? Um, coming from a, just a police standpoint, you guys talking about everything that's going on with this is really going to fuck an investigation up a lot, probably, because... Sounds like whoever's doing this to Fezzi is definitely getting off on listening to the show because they wouldn't do it again. Like they wouldn't risk doing it again if they didn't really like. So you agree about with Fez that this is just a personal thing on him? This is not just somebody going out and get money. No, I think this is definitely somebody that's also getting off on you know, uh, you know, getting off on hearing on the radio everything that he's doing and driving Fez crazy, and you're, you're kind of like making it easier. To cover his tracks because you're going over all the different ways that you could try and figure out well, who this is. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like it's it's kind of it, if if I was investigating this, I would be banging my head against the wall that you guys are talking so much about this right now. Well, well, the cops could have told Fez keep it off the air. Nobody will talk to Fez. No, I tried to go through the bank. They won't. They say they say we'll put in a claim and we'll get your money back, but they won't give me any information about how to stop this or who's doing it. Jason in North Carolina. Yeah, I was just wondering if Dave used to carry his lunch to school in a big brown paper bag. That's a huge, bag. a huge paper bag. Fez, I see you're rubbing your chest over there. You having a heart attack? No, I'm not having a heart attack, but that's where I feel all my stress at. You should feel better that that cop, finally somebody, agreed that this is just done to drive you crazy. Yeah, I mean, if you look at it, I mean, the amounts that happen, it's not enough to change that person's life. It's not enough to ruin me. It's enough to harass me. Yeah, but it's probably hard to cash like a $20,000 check, right? I mean, you got to be in and out for, you know, four or five grand. I guess so. I'm not, and it's always like odd amounts, you know, like, uh, you know, and 37 cents. So it looks like I'm paying some sort of bill. Where the hell is the Caraco that just beat Japan? Curacao. They're in the Caribbean. The fuck is that? I never heard of this place. Curacao. Curacao. That sounds Japanese. Good team. Great team. Where one, are they at? one of my teams. They're in the Caribbean. They're like their own island. Since when? I'll fucking go down there next week. Lay in the sun for a week. They're one of my prospects. I think Curacao and California are going to make it all the way. Uh, David, you're in my Fez. Hey, Ronnie. First off, let me say, Fez, I'm sorry about your checks and all that shit. That really sucks. But to get to, like, the detractors in this clan or Dave's, like, group of people who are going off and making some kind of... You're in a fucking public environment. Ignore the detractors and ignore the bullshit because that's all it is. And you're making a mountain out of a fucking molehill. Does it feel like a molehill to you, Fuzzy? Uh, no, not when someone's stealing my money. No. I didn't. I set the money aside. That's a different situation. Not when someone's calling my uh, family's home. Not when someone's calling my home, which, by the way, happened again this weekend. What they say? Write it down. Actually, it was. Um... So you're getting harassments, Dave. I'm just trying to to, and to Fez actually is getting harassment. I'm identifying and, with instead him instead of you guys fucking teaming up together. You're acting like the other side is doing it. I wasn't acting like that until today. And I'm still not even sure. Oh, this is to you? Uh-huh. 
Mm. The joke's on them because you weigh more than nuts. So, whatever. Hmm. Uh, Adam in Florida. Uh, Ron, I just want to say thanks for running one of the best soap operas I've ever heard. It's just fantastic stuff. Uh, Kurt, Kurt, you're on a Fez. You know, Fez, to make things even worse, everybody you do electronic banking with has access to your account and your routing number. So there's no safe way to bank. Uh, Walker, you're on run Fez. Hey, Dave, uh, can you tell us that story again about when your dad squirted your ass all out after the beach in the driveway? That's Fez's story. I was eight. That's Fez's story. And Sandy. And uh, we had sand. I'm having Fred step in this week. Let's see if you're that strong then. <laughs> okay. Because that came out of nowhere today, the screaming at Fred. And as far as I know, everything with Fred has been over for a long time. Well, he's done podcasts recently about attacking my wife, calling her a cunt, calling her fat. Did I have, you hear it? I, Ron, I have, I have things on my internet of him posting pictures of my wife on a fat loop, uh, uh, between a, a loop of fat girls. And I have the thing where it says, Fred from Brooklyn. Underneath it. Fez, is he working for Team Fez? I never heard any of Dave's story. I never heard any of the stuff that had happened to Fred in the past year and a half. But there is a Team Fez. You, you can fucking agree to that, right? Oh, I mean, there's people like Dan LaRoe, yeah. That want to stick up for me on, the, on RonFez.net. You guys are starting to go bananas. I'm really fucking feeling like Lord of the fucking flies. Like one of these days, Dave's going to come in here wearing a fucking pig head on top of him and just be chasing Fezzy around with a fucking spear so he can use his glasses to start a fire. Give me the conk. I want a meeting right now. Uh, Steve in Quebec. Ronnie B., it's a lover's triangle if I ever heard it. Do you honestly think so? There, there's something going on, either uh, someone that says he's been involved with, uh, and it's payback time. Punch it out. A lot of stuff is just crazy talk. A lot of it just comes back crazier than the fucking moment before. <clears throat> Trying to figure out what a fat loop is. <laughs> a, a loop of fat girls is what I meant to say. <laughs> like, we would know what a fat loop is. I misspoke. All this excitement has got me tongue-tied. He's and got I'm not my wife on a fat loop. The best public I mean, speaker crazy to talk. begin with. It sounds like an exercise machine. Oh, jeez. Now you have to say that. She isn't perfect. That implies that she's fat. You just got to fucking... Everybody's got to take a, a step back. Let's take a step back for a change. I know you're going through a lot of stress and anxiety right now, right? Yes. Yep. Um, according to this, one of the most respected ways now, treatment for conditions, stress, anxiety, and this is coming out of San Francisco, it's a drum circle. <laughs> you just really need to be there in a drum circle. I know we're off next week. Burning Man. Fez goes out. You're in the desert with a bunch of fucking hippies. You're eating mushrooms. You're eating ecstasy. Just sitting in that heat, pounding on a fucking drum circle till you pass out. I don't want to, like, spit in the face of, you know, uh, psychotherapy, but do I have to take the hallucinogenics or can I just drum? Are you going to have water? Yeah, I'm going to have water. Then you're going to be doing hallucinogenics anyway. So why not just <laughs> fucking know yourself? You're going to be dosed. You got to fucking get your glow stick on, dude. It's tough. I agree with this study. I mean, drumming is its very cathartic. And you don't have to be, you know, you can learn quickly how to play the drums. I'm not saying you're going to learn quickly how to be Keith Moon. Well, in the drum solo uh, circle, it's the same as clapping. 
You just, if you can fucking keep time with everybody else, just fucking clap. You know, you only have to do that much to stay in the drum circle. If you can do this, it's you, you won't be kicked out of the drum circle. They do these in the, uh, in fucking Central Park sometimes, Fez. You go over that. I'd like to see you go straight into the desert. It's going to be 130 degrees. Yeah. You're lighting shit on fire. You're living in a very fucking kind of a Mad Max world for a week. Mm-hmm. Eating shrooms. That's all you need right there. And this helps people? Brings down stress and anxiety. You'll fucking forget that everybody's stealing your money. My Kaka's brother's going out there. Says you want to fucking hop a ride with him, stay in his tent. He goes out every year. John Kaka will be deep in the desert. Cupcake, man. Hey, dude, you need a cupcake? Mike was in with this uh, uh, weekend, but a couple of the Irish girls with us. Let's oh. just say we were having a time. <laughs> Having a time. <laughs> Deep in the desert. You and John Kaka. No hotels, just tents, huh? There's no hotels out there, dude. <laughs> Burning Man. Ask Mike if you buy a bar with three thousand dollar sunglasses. <laughs> it's gonna be bright in the <laughs> desert. Think about it, Fezzi. Take a break here. We come back. Lou Holtz has made a guarantee. Notre Dame will play in the BCS title game. The year is 1989. And we are the Ron Fez Show. <laughs> 